Welcome, I'm Bev Adams. I own an independent paper crafting business showcasing products from Stampin' Up. I made this cute fun fold card with products from Stampin' Up. I sell these products and also a few items to make crafting more convenient. I have the free detailed directions for this project on my website and you'll also find the links for the products I use there and you'll be able to just click the links for the products that you'd like to be taken to my online store at Stampin' Up. You'll see where to find all of that at the end of this video, so don't worry about taking notes. It's time to put stamps, ink, and paper together. I'm using Island Vibes, and it's a stamp set that you can get free with a $50 order during celebration. It does not have any greetings on this stamp set. You can use any greetings, but I'm using Special Moments, which is also a celebration item. I'm also using Shaded Spruce ink. I'm using this beautiful gold fine art ribbon. I'm pulling in the directions again, just so I make sure and give you the all the materials. My card base is very different. Um, it is seven and a quarter by four and a quarter, and it's scored at five and a half. So when you fold it, you get the same size that fits in our medium envelope. So it's five and a half by four and a quarter. You also need some of the expressions in ink specialty designer series paper, just a little bit of it. This piece is one and a quarter by three and three quarters. I have a square that's two and three quarters inch. And we're gonna cut this on the diagonal. So I'm just putting it in corner to corner in the track. And you only need one of these pieces. I use two pieces of my basic small layers that are two and three quarters by four and a quarter. On my card, I have kind of a large border on the top and bottom. You could use two pieces of very vanilla that are five by three and three quarters. You would get the same look but it would be like that with smaller borders all the way around. It will be fine either way. I have a piece of gold foil. This gold foil is one and a half by four. And I also have a strip that's one fourth by four. And you'll also need some mini dimensionals. So I think I got all those in there. So we're going to just start off by stamping, and again, I'm going to use the small layers, and we want to get it in the bottom as far to the right as you can get it. And then I'm stamping thanks. And we want to have it um, right about here. On the inside piece, I'm stamping um, a companion greeting. Thanks for brightening up my day. And you can stamp it in the middle or maybe a little bit up higher. So if you stamp it up a little bit higher, you'll have more room for a, a little message. We want to put the gold strip along the diagonal edge of this triangle. And we'll let that set that aside to dry a little bit. Meanwhile, I'm going to adhere my designer series paper under the gold foil. And 
I'm just going to center that on there. And then I'm going to tie this ribbon. I'm just going to tie a knot. So wrap it around. I think you need about 14 inches, which is more than enough. I'm probably not using quite that much because I'm not pulling it off the spool. So I'll get my third hand in here. And I'm just tying a square knot. And if you pull the end tight and then pull this side over it a little bit, you'll get a prettier knot, I think. And give it a little trim. And I think I'm going to put it more towards the center. Before we put this piece on, we do want to put this here. On my sample, I did leave a little bit of a border here, but you can also move this in a little bit more so that, um, so that this layer will cover it up. It's up to you. But whatever you do you want to be sure not to put adhesive beyond that flap so we'll put it about there and now we can put this on top And now when we put this piece in, we want to open this all the way up and put this down this way. And I do want to put adhesive on here. So I want to match this up exactly. They are the same size. But it's going to be important to get those lined up exactly. So the easiest way to do that is to just hold that there and close this flap and then they will be lined up exactly. Now that the glue is dry, we're going to trim off the corners here. And so I'm just trimming it even with the designer series paper. And then I'm going to put dimensionals here. I do not want to put any dimensionals on the long diagonal edge, but I want to have this one well supported. So probably one in each corner and two down the middle. You want to have them on the very edge. Remove the backings. And then with this closed, you want to put this right in the corner. And that holds our flap. Now, I didn't use my bone folder, so I'm going to do that right now. And then it lays nice and flat, and there it is. Thanks for brightening up my day. And again, if you want to use these two pieces with the five by three and three quarters, it will work just fine. There should be plenty of room for the dimensionals here. So whether you use the two and three quarters by four and a quarter or the five by three and three quarters, it will be just fine. I hope you enjoyed this fun fold card. Here is the web address for this project where you'll find the free directions and links for the products I used. You can click individual products 
or the Add All to the Cart. You will be able to remove products you don't need or add more products. I have lots of resources on my website. Most of them are free. It's easy to miss some of those resources or to get lost exploring. Let me take you on a quick tour. Just under the banner image are six links. Under Shop, you'll find links to the products from Bev, Shopping Strategies, My Frequent Shopping Points, and a sampling from the clearance rack. Under Inspiration, you can link to scroll all of my projects since 2011. The products may be retired, but you may be inspired by a layout, color combination, or a technique. I have the basics, where I've written about stamps, ink and paper, cutting, adhesives, and my favorite tools. You'll find a link to Techie Tips and an easy link back to my latest post. Click on Getting Organized, and you'll find some of my resources for stamp case slips, product labels, large labels, for designer series paper and more. Case inserts for dies, embellishments, and anything I think might fit in a stamp case, including ink refills. You'll also find color tools and charts, a practically free stamp pad storage solution, tabs and a quick reference for the annual catalog, and plans for toolkits. I have a video of my craft wall and more. Click on Evernote Current Products and you can learn how to share my notebook. This notebook has a note for every current product from Stampin' Up! It allows you to search by color, image, product type, word, phrase, or event, and more. I include French, German, and Dutch names and numbers when available, and the prices for all the markets. Evernote synchronizes on your phone, ta tablet, and or your desktop or laptop computer so you can look through the Stampin' Up! catalog from anywhere, anytime. You can copy my notes for the products you own, so you can find just what you're looking for. When products retire, I move them to the Retired Products Notebook, which I also share, and I host a notebook for Paper Pumpkin. Clip up, click on Sip Together, and then let's stamp to come stamp with me or join my Sip Together team. There's also a link to learn a bit about me. The site map will help you navigate all these links from one page. And there are quick links along the side of my page. Shop Now takes you to my online store at Stampin' Up! You'll see the current host code. It would be a great help to me if you use that if you are ordering less than $150. You can click on the current catalogs to page through them online and I've got a link to a color lab to get color combinations. And then there are my links to my five most recent posts. Thank you very much for stopping by and hope to see you soon.